Good morning, evening, afternoon, everybody. This is Cam Walsh with Gernot Fritsche bringing you iRacing's Lotus 79's Classics Team Championship this week here at Virginia International Raceway, Week 9, Season 1, 2014, the Sunday 1630 Strength of Field Big Race of the Week. Andrea Ventura and the Ligier qualifying in first with a 137.913. Gernot Fritsche and the Lotus with a 138.042, at a hundredth behind. Berker Barutsu and James Rawson uh, behind in the second row with Bill Frazier tailing out the top five. Uh, Andrea Ventura will be looking to get the whole shot here and to turn one at uh, the tricky uh, horseshoe as it's called, uh, but Gernot will have none of it. He will get on the outside starting good and early. James Rossum will break late uh, trying to sneak in behind Berker there as uh, everyone will get away cleanly through the horseshoe as uh, the Alfa Romeo and uh, Team, UT, uh, Team UK car will have a slight contact. Don't know if there's any damage exchange there. Or if the Team UK just had to eat a little bit of dirt as we hand it through the very dastardly Virginia International Raceway. Uh, the uh, Green Hell, as it's called. Uh, Jacob Desmaris hosts the Targa Virginia here uh, every year as all the cars get away cleanly as we go through the snake heading towards South Bend and then of course the lovely oak tree the turn that uh, everyone hates but everyone loves as uh, that makes no sense <laughs> as they take the big South Bend here there we go the beautiful oak tree standing in its virtual glory as it will forever remain here uh, on iRacing enshrined as we all Enjoy its shade heading down the full length of the back straight here this week uh, this year season We are at the full course as uh, Last season we were doing the Grand East or the Grand West as Bill Frazier looks to get on the inside of Berker Brutu uh, who used to be in the Classic Team Championship, but no more just stopping in to say hi this week as uh, showing he still has the stuff in the Lotus 79 as Mark Fisher was uh, Barry West on the outside, but they made contact heading into the roller coaster as uh, that's what, turn 14, 14A, and 15 as uh, Mark Fisher will uh, rejoin, I believe, in front of uh, Mark Dorval. Mark Dorval will actually get around Mark Fisher. That Alfa Romeo getting shuffled way into the back as uh, he's got a lot of work ahead of him here. Ver is not a good place to try and make great passes. A good place to pass, though. Turn one of Art Espelin in that turbo. Renault will get around the ATS car of Mark Pickford as uh, Mark Dorval will clip the grass. He'll spin around. As uh, he'll be stationary as the shadow car, Mark Winfield makes contact, punts him way into the grass. Cars have to split uh, Mark Winfield as Mark Winfield will pick a side as uh, Stuart Schmidt and Mark Winfield will have a collision after that incident. Mark Duvall slowly getting onto the grass as he'll get under power. Finds out if his wheels are all straight, I believe they are. Havard Esplin overcooking a turn uh, as he'll give it a loop around, give a position up to Mark Pickford. Uh, and that's one way to make up a position as uh, he'll go up to 13. No, he'll go up to 12th as uh, he'll pass Robert Simpkins, who also had an off. Uh, pretty good time for him as uh, Andrea Gugliametti, Daniel Banker, and Jesus Pasillas will go into turn one. Banker on the inside, Gugliametti on the outside, and Jesus following Banker as uh, they'll fall into line quickly. The horseshoe gives you an opportunity, but if you don't take it or if it doesn't work out right, you've got to fall in line as uh, Havard Esplin will uh, have, uh, well, go for another spin. Uh, luckily, there is a lot of runoff here at VIR, uh, so he'll get that under control. A couple of laps later, he'll go on the inside of Jesus Pasillas and do the horseshoe, uh, picking up that spot rather handedly as... Uh, now this is Jesus Pasillas and I believe that's Daniel Banker in the Osella car. They'll make contact. They'll both push each other off the horseshoe. Uh, I believe the wheels just, uh, they got locked there and uh, once your wheels get locked, uh, there's, well, there's really not much you can do as uh, Bill Frazier will go on the inside of James Ross and James Ross getting a little loose going into turn one. Turn one seems to be where the action is going to be happening this week. As uh, as I said, VIR, not a very good passing place, even on the back straight where you have uh, a lot of straight uh, as Barry West overcooks uh, the end of the back straight as uh, uh, he goes into the roller coaster there. Does not lose a position. That's Otto Hamaki in the Brabham car behind him as uh, we'll go to Robert Simpkins, lap 12 out of 29. He'll uh, have a rather lazy uh, tail uh, kicking out from under him there. 
lazy slide there. Uh, rather happy to have that happen that way. It's a lot better than the alternative doing it way too fast, getting in the air and uh, chucking it into the tires as uh, Banker will uh, spin it out at Oak Tree. Uh, he'll have some contact there. I believe his wheels are all straight. Arrow is uh, very damaged, but uh, he can, will continue as Bill Frazier. Uh, Frazier in fourth position will go off. He'll try and keep it off the tires. He will keep it off the tires. Uh, doesn't stall the car, because obviously he can't stall the car, but that's a uh, fight for another day. As uh, the Alfa Romeo of Mark Fisher has closed the gap to Mark Pickford. This is at 18 on 29. Mark Fisher getting the power down early, but the sheer uh, arrow package of the ATS car allows him to keep Fisher at a good distance. Uh, obviously, the setup's coming into play as Mark Pickford will eat a curb and he will shunt himself off the end of the grass, keeping it off the tire barrier, picking up no damage at all. He will continue. As now we'll go to Julio Cesar Hauer in the Brabham car. As uh, at the same corner as Pickford, uh, will have an off. Uh, he's able to recover much more gracefully than the British person of Mark Pickford, but uh, I think that's just more of how the cars went than anything else. As uh, we'll go to John G. Hill having a great race in, uh, in eighth position, getting chased down by uh, Barry West going around the lapped car of Stuart Schmidt, who had picked up that damage earlier uh, with that collision with the other shadow car of uh, Mark Winfield. As he will get underway there. Always great to see him. As uh, Mark Pickford now in 13th, uh, which really tells you how bad I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> because uh, he'll have another spin, clipping another curb. Uh, you'll see me go by there, but uh, that's definitely not for position. As uh, that's, what, the second or third time that Mark's gone off, which means it's probably the eighth or ninth time I have gone off. Uh, Grenot Fritsche in first as we enter the closing stages of this race. As uh, you can see, the shadow car of Cam Walsh ahead, ready to get lamp once again. Lap 27 out of 29. Now Barry West uh, will clip the grass. He'll try to save it, get it on the brakes, kick up a lot of smoke, but that tail will go into the tire barrier. Uh, that's exactly what Bill Frazier was able to avoid earlier in the race. Uh, Barry West went in with just too much speed. Did the uh, rear end some damage, but hopefully he'll be able to get underway as uh, and finish out the race. There's only two laps to go. Rob Simpkins trying to chase down Mark Fisher here uh, as he's trying to get it on the power uh, going into the uh, front stretch there, but uh, not going to happen as he's just carried way too much speed going into that slight right-hand kink, and he will shove that rear end into the green fence there. You can see the smoke bloom as Grinnell will come through it cleanly as he will finish in first position, lap 29 out of 29, the Lotus leading from flag to flag, as uh, he will also pick up the fastest lap by over a second, a 138.403, as Berker Burtzu will come in a second, showing that he still has what it takes to be in the Lotus 79, as James Rawson and the Tyrrell Team UK car will finish in the third, great finish for him, great finish for the Candy Team UK team, who's Really needed a great finish like that. As we'll look at the race results, the Lotus of Gernot Fritsche taking us around VIR in 48 minutes and 13 seconds. As uh, I finished in uh, 20th out of 23 cars, uh, rather uh, normal-sized field this week, but VIR always does that. As uh, Andrea Ventra, who started in first, will finish in fifth. Definitely a great race for him. As we'll look at the standings, Gernot Fritsche still in front. As uh, we uh, look, uh, I believe he's got that all wrapped up. I don't know how the drop weeks work. I haven't seen a, an edited for drop weeks just yet. But uh, the Ligier, though, in first in the team's championship, I don't believe there are drop weeks for the team's championship. So the Ligier definitely out in front. I uh, won't pop the champagne for him yet. But uh, as it stands, they've worked very hard for that. And... Uh, well, uh, it looks like they've got it wrapped up. Uh, anyways, we will actually see you all next week at Interlagos, uh, which you'll be able to see right now, because this video is uh, produced afterwards, but that's okay, as uh, we were able to get the time in to do this video for you guys. If you like what you see, you can always uh, stop by and see us in the Lotus 79 forums. Uh, either way, I'm Cameron Walsh for Grenot for J. We'll see you at Interlagos.